During the first Gulf War, precision-guided bombs made up just 9% of all weapons fired, yet they were responsible for 75% of all effective strikes. Despite the fact that guided weapons were deployed on more challenging targets, they were 35 times more likely to destroy their targets per weapon dropped. Thus, these precision-guided bombs increased lethality against intended targets. Out of all the guided bombs in the world today, we'll list out the 10 most powerful of them all. This is not a ranking video, as many of the specifications for guided bombs are classified, like penetration depth, range, and many more. So firstly, we have the GBU-27 Paveway 3. This precision unit is a laser-guided bomb with bunker buster capability. Because of its destructive force and explosion radius, it was dubbed the Hammer by pilots flying over Iraq during the First Gulf War. It is a GBU-24 Paveway 3 that is fitted on the warhead of the BLU-109 bomb body. The Paveway 3 laser-guided bombs are the third generation of LGBs, and they include an adaptable digital autopilot, a broad field of view, and a highly sensitive seeker to give maximum operational flexibility. Up next is the GBU-28 Paveway 3. This is a 2,268kg laser-guided bunker-busting bomb developed by the United States. It is a unique bomb designed to penetrate bunkers located deep underground. During the Gulf War in 1991, the GBU-28 met the U.S. Air Force's criteria for breaching deep underground Iraqi bunkers. When the GBU-28 hits the ground, a short delay time fuse is activated which triggers detonation when it has penetrated deeply enough to completely destroy the target. It has a penetration depth of more than 6 meters in concrete and more than 30 meters in the ground. Up next is the KAB-500. There are many variants of the KAB-500 such as KAB-500L, KAB-500KR, KAB-500OD, and the KAB-500SE. The latest one is the KAB-500SE which got into service in 2007. The GLONASS guided KAB 500 SE bomb can be dropped from planes at altitudes ranging from 500 to 5,000 meters and speeds ranging from 550 to 1,100 km per hour. The CEP or Circular Aero Probable is estimated to be between 7 and 12 meters. It is designed to target well known targets such as weapons stockpiles, industrial sites, and ships at ports. Next up is Paveway 4. This is the latest iteration of the Paveway series. It is a dual-mode GPS or INS and laser-guided bomb equipped with a second-generation GPS navigation system that includes anti-spoofing and anti-jamming technologies for improved accuracy and dependability. This new bomb is able to function at all times of day and night in all weather conditions. The Paveway 4 was first used operationally by the Royal Air Force during Operation Herrick in Afghanistan. It was later used operationally during Operation Alami in Libya and Operation Shader in Iraq and Syria. Up next is the American GBU-39B Small Diameter Bomb. It is a 110 kg precision guided glide bomb designed to allow aircraft to carry a greater quantity of more precise bombs. The small diameter bomb carries approximately 16 kilograms of AFX-757 high explosive. Because of its size and precision, it may be used as an effective munition with minimal collateral damage. The fuse features electronic safe and fire cockpit, selectable features, including air burst and delayed choices. The warhead penetrates 1 meter of steel reinforced concrete under 1 meter of earth. The SDB-1 has a CEP of 5 to 8 meters. Next up is the GBU-53B Stormbreaker. This is an American air launch precision-guided glide bomb. This 113kg class bomb can identify and strike mobile targets from standoff distances in all weather conditions. When deployed in semi-autonomous mode, 
The weapon is capable of fusing the information from the sensors to categorize the target and can prioritize specific categories of targets as required. The bomb's shape charge warhead has both explosion and fragmentation effects making it useful against troops, main battle tanks, unhardened structures and buildings, patrol craft-sized boats, and other soft targets. Up next is the double ASM. This is a French precision-guided munition developed by Safran Electronics and Defense. It is a highly agile modular munition extended range bomb that uses hybrid inertial navigation system or GPS guidance. It is known to have an accuracy of 10 meter CEP and can be launched from Mirage 2000D and Rafale. This bomb comprises a frontal guidance kit and a rear mounted range extension kit matched to a dump bomb. The weapon is modular because it can integrate different types of guidance units and different types of bombs. Next is the Spice Bomb, which is an Israeli-developed EO-GPS guided guidance kit for converting air-droppable unguided bombs into precision guided bombs. Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, an Israeli firm, produces the Spice series of guided bombs. It entered service in 2003 in the Israeli Air Force F-16 units. The Spice munition is more advanced than most EO-guided bombs, GBU-15 for example, since it combines the advantages of satellite guidance and those of electro-optical guidance. The Spice has a very long glide range of about 60 kilometers. Up next is the KAB-1500. This is a Russian precision-guided weapon that comes in three versions. KAB-1500L, KAB-1500SE, and TV-guided KAB-1500KR. The last one is the KAB-1500LG-ODE-guided bomb with a laser gyro-stabilized seeker and a fuel-air explosive warhead. The KAB-1500L is the Russian counterpart to United States Paveway 2 and 3 laser-guided bombs. The laser-guided KAB-1500 LGE bomb weighs 1,500 kilograms and is meant to attack fixed ground and surface targets such as railways, highway bridges, installation ships, and strongholds. The bomb can be launched from SU-24M, SU-34, SU-35, and MiG-35 aircraft. Last but not the least, we have the Joint Direct Attack Munition. The Joint Direct Attack Munition, or the JDAM, was meant to improve upon laser-guided bomb and imaging infrared technology, which can be hindered by bad ground and weather conditions. There are various types of JDAM bombs such as GBU-30, GBU-31, GBU-32, GBU-35, and GBU-38, JDAM Damask, and JDAM ER. The last one is the JDAM ER or JDAM Extended Range, which entered service in 2015. The JDAM ER program extends the range of JDAM bombs already available. The addition of foldable wings to the JDAM ER bomb will give it a range of more than 35 miles. The powered JDAM combines a 500 pound bomb with a wing kit and a propulsion module, the range of more advanced missiles while being less expensive due to its lack of stealth and ability to fly at low altitudes. Powered JDAMs may be networked to offer an inexpensive standoff weapon to overwhelm air defense systems. However, they are less survivable. And this is the bus signing off for today. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to support us by hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.